What's up you guys? Welcome to my crib and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna give you guys a tour of our LA home. We just sold it. We really had a great time here and made amazing memories. So I'm still gonna show it to you guys. This is actually a three story home. So we're gonna start on the third floor and work our way down. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, girl, do all the things and we're gonna get right into it. Okay, so one of the super dope features about this home is it has an elevator. Living in a tri level home, this helped us so much, especially when we're packing suitcases, being able to send them down. The kids love the elevator. My mom, whenever she comes, she takes the elevator to the third floor to go to her guest bedroom. And yeah, we just really enjoyed this feature. So I'm gonna show you the first guest bedroom of the house. This bed used to be our master bed whenever we first moved to LA four years ago. I absolutely loved this bed, but my mom loved it as well. So I gave this bed to her. My mother-in-law, this is just a space away from us, away from the kids that they can have their own privacy and still feel very comfortable. This way is the bathroom, beautiful shower and a nice view. I forgot to mention in the beginning of this video that this home is five bedrooms, seven bathrooms. So this is bathroom number two. Moving on to the next part of our home. This was Contavious's closet. I created this space for him because I just needed my own space and I actually kicked him out of the master closet. So this we had set up as a closet for him. The buyer bought our home furnished, so you'll see that most of the furniture is here. We actually have this super dope off-white IKEA collab rug here. Moving along, this was our game room space. So we have a huge couch here that the kids love to climb on, a huge TV to watch cartoons and games. Here we have Kentavious's ping pong table, which we packed because it was customized with his logo, so we took that with us. And then right over here, we had Kentavious's gaming system set up. So when I met this man, he did not play video games, but the quarantine completely turned him into a gamer. This was his little gaming sanctuary. Off of our game room, we have this cool indoor-outdoor space, and these windows close flush. <laughs> This space transitions to indoor, outdoor. We just finished building out this space. It was not here whenever we bought the home, but I thought it was a really cool touch and I've always wanted an outdoor kitchen up here. I'm really happy with the way it came out. Shout out to Studio 7 Design Group. There's an amazing view. <sighs> Do you hear that? Sounds like sweet nothing. <laughs> As a mother of three, I appreciate this. I really would just sit up here in silence and just watch the sunset, enjoy the view. It's so beautiful here. All right, well that sums up the third floor of our beautiful home, you guys. On to number two. The first bedroom I'm gonna show you on this floor is Kendrick's room. He was only maybe five or six months whenever we moved into this home. So of course we have the crib. We did this textured wallpaper, which I absolutely love. This textured light fixture. And I wanted to do kind of like a, not safari theme, but just kind of like that nature. I added a bed in this room also because I did not want it just to be like a crib. In a home like this with five people, you need to maximize the space. So I added a bed and actually I would sleep in here sometimes with him, our nanny, my mom, and we were really able to utilize this space a lot. This way is Kendrick's bathroom and his closet. I kept KJ and Kendrick's clothes together because they were so close in size. So even though KJ did not sleep in this room, his clothes clothes were in here as well. Across from Kendrick's room is our laundry room, which got the most love in this house. Oh my gosh, with three boys, this thing is always going. Next to the laundry room was Kendrick's and KJ's room. So we did a space theme in this room. We did navy comforters. This bunk bed is from Restoration Hardware and I've had it for so long, you guys. We wallpapered the ceiling and made it like a night sky. And we just had really dope touches of metallics all over the room. This is OJ, you guys. I'm gonna have to get them a new fish, but I really cannot take this back to Atlanta, you guys. So I'm gonna have to get the kids a new fish. What should we name the new fish? Comment down below and let me know. <laughs> this is Kenzo's bathroom. I say this is Kenzo's bathroom because he takes showers. KJ still enjoys the bath. We have his closet as well. One of the things I really enjoyed about this home was that our kids were on one end and we were on the other. Even though we were on the same floor, we still had that separation to where we had our privacy as parents. But can we get into this hallway, you guys? 
This hallway is massive and we had tons of storage. I kept blankets here, board games, all the things the kids needed in their playroom. You guys saw me take a lot of Instagram photos here. I love this space. So let's check out the master bedroom. As I was saying, I really enjoy a masculine master bedroom. I love to decorate with blacks, grays, and cool tones. So we actually had this bed custom made from Christ and they do amazing work you guys they actually did our couches in the living room as well so you'll see those in a minute we added this light fixture i love mixing blacks with gold and metallics i'm not like one type of like either silver or gold type of girl i like to do it all so that's what you see here here we have this little sitting area which is so nice so you can look out on our balcony which also has an amazing view this was so nice and honestly sometimes in the morning i would roll up the shades and just look outside and just lay in the bed and just get my thoughts together before i started my day here we have our master bathroom have a bathtub here that my kids enjoyed to be in more than their own our shower this beautiful wood piece you guys this weighs like 300 pounds and we had this whenever we lived in Detroit many years ago and we've kept it because it's such a solid piece I know that you guys like look it's so heavy I know the new owner is gonna absolutely love this it was just a nice feature to add some texture with all of the clean lines next to the bathtub and yeah so under the sinks, we have tons and tons of storage, you guys, like all of these open. I had little containers. You guys probably know I'm an organization freak. Here is our master toilet. She's saying hello. <laughs> and then of course, the master closet, you guys. Let me turn on the light. So on our master closet and our door, we actually have key codes. This was my master closet, you guys. And you could tell I did not have enough room for my own stuff. So I had to kick Contavious out. It just wasn't big enough. <laughs> and it's huge. <laughs> so here I had all of my hats. There's a little skinny mirror for when you're feeling thin. I had like winter stuff over here. No, I had spring. This was spring. I had so many like shorts, you guys. The storage is like endless. Robes, I had a section for all my skims. You guys, I'm like a skims connoisseur and all of my houseware. I like to decorate my closet with like florals and different things to make it feel like a little shopping experience in my closet. So you could see some flowers here that I'm gonna sadly have to leave behind because I know they will not last um, with the move. I just can't take them. So I guess I need more. Tag Contavious and let him know I need new flowers. <laughs> All right, now we're working our way down to the first floor and the last floor of the tour, you guys. I hope you're enjoying this tour as much as I am. Another feature that we really loved about this home was the super high ceilings and how open the floor plan was. We just felt so connected even though there were three levels. You could hear each other. This house is actually very loud whenever all my kids are here, but it has a ton of natural light and just a lot of open space. As we work our way down, of course, you see the family room. This and the kitchen was our most used space of the house. Food is definitely conversation for us, whether it be breakfast, lunch, or dinner, we usually do it all together. As I mentioned earlier, Christ made these couches for us. They're super deep for my super tall husband. I'm actually not short myself, I'm 5'10". We have a rug here and this beautiful fireplace, you guys, that turns on with the remote and another cool feature, let me show you. 
You can change the color under here, which I used to on game days. Okay, how do you make purple? Blue plus this plus this? Yes, okay. I would leave it purple and gold on game days, you guys. Lakers for life. This is our championship team, you guys. Moving along to our kitchen. We have this huge island that we were able to utilize so much. Having three boys, you guys, they eat all day. <laughs> so our chef was in here cooking nonstop. We have two dishwashers, which is so necessary with all of the dishes that my kids use. All of the appliances are top of the line, Miele, which they have great customer service. I highly recommend these products. We do not have a microwave, which my parents we're not happy about when we moved in, <laughs> into this house. They love to like Netflix and chill and like popcorn is like their thing. And they were like, you don't have a microwave for popcorn? I'm like, girl, no. So I had to buy my dad a popcorn maker. But instead of a microwave, we do have a steam oven and this is how we heated up our food. And it's way less toxic for you than a microwave. I really love the high ceilings in the kitchen. You guys are making me fall in love with this house all over again and it's not even mine anymore. <laughs> This way we have our dining table, which got all of the love. I hope the owner is not watching this video, but I know Kenzo wrote his name on this plant somewhere. It's right here. This is gonna be here forever. Kenzo. <laughs> Obviously this plant is artificial because girl, I am a kid mother, but I am not a plant mother. And right off of the dining table, we have another indoor outdoor space with these heavy doors that I'm gonna open again for you guys. You guys may have seen on my Instagram, when I have my kids parties, I usually open up this space, I've done a hibachi um, kitchen out here where we all ate in front of the little, doing all the tricks and stuff. This way we have our pantry with literally like floor to ceiling storage, you guys. Here we have a wine refrigerator. We usually did the top half with wine and the bottom would be waters because girl who wants your kids reaching for your wine bottles? So we do water at the bottom. Then we have our refrigerator and freezer. So this whole side is the freezer. So the top and the drawers and the ice is at the bottom. And you can change the temperature of each level of the refrigerator and freezer. Pretty dope. I forgot to mention this space right off the dining room, you guys. This is our, just our understair space that we actually just transitioned this into a grown and sexy area. <laughs> we added two chairs just for like conversation and we had tons of toys here before. And I was like, you know what? I need to reclaim my space because the kids have, they already have a playroom, they already have bedrooms, they took over the living room. So this was actually a nice space for my husband and I just to hang out at the end of the night. Just off of the kitchen, we have another desk space that Kenzo started his homeschool at the beginning of quarantine, but it was just too loud. As I said earlier, our living room and kitchen are super high traffic areas. This way is our elevator for the first floor. Again, it goes all the way to the third. To my left, we have a bathroom. Who's keeping count? Hi girl, she's welcoming us again. <laughs> Next to the powder bathroom, we have our second guest bedroom, which is, this is the fifth room. And my sister actually lived in this room during quarantine. She came to live with me during quarantine and keep me company. And if you don't know, my sister and I are 10 years apart. So when she was seven, I had already moved out of the house to go to college. So we really bonded during quarantine and got to be like sisters for real and live together. It was a really fun time for us. I really enjoyed having her. She's going to college, you guys. I'm super sad. I'm gonna try to vlog it. That would be really cool, right? Comment down below if you wanna see a move to college vlog with me and my sister. And this was her closet. Great utilization of space, floor to ceiling storage, absolutely love. And to conclude the first floor, here is our garage. This is a two car garage, you guys. And again, floor to ceiling storage. And here, Contavious used this as like his sneaker closet. This is a, I think they call it like a suicide square or something. I know it's a really traumatic name. I forgot the name, you guys. This is so, if you ever leave your car running, this ventilates out all of the exhaust so you don't accidentally add the carbon monoxide in your garage. Is that the term? I think so. All right, you guys, that concludes the LA house tour. Now it's time for y'all to go home. Get out of here. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs>